A Facebook ad costs one cent for each time the ad is shown to a user. So this is what we call an impression. The expected number of impressions is a thousand per day. And for those exposed to the ad, 1% clicks through. And for those who click through, 2% actually purchase something. So this is what we call the conversion. As you can see, this is a chain multiplication of probabilities where 1,000 impressions per day would have to be multiplied into the 1% click-through rate and then multiplied into the conversion rate. So on average, a purchase creates 1,000 in revenue and generates 20 in profit. There are 30 days per month. And this is the data we use for estimating the cost we can afford for a targeted ROI. And here is the data. So in this case, we have a targeted ROI of 0.1%. So in order to complete this calculation, we can start with putting in the price per impression that we have just examined. It's one cent per impression. And then we can calculate the conversions, the profits versus the costs. Then we have the ROI. So in this case, we're trying to figure out the cost per impression. And for now, let's not worry about what the cost should be, but let's figure out, given a cost of this level, what is the ROI? Then we'll use a tool in Excel to solve this. So the conversions per month is equal to the number of impressions per day times the number of days per month. So that will give us the total number of impressions per month. And that times into the click-through rate. And then times into the conversion rate. So that gives us, out of this 1,000 times 30 impressions, how many actually convert into sales. Enter. So six conversions per month. And the profit is simply the profit per sale. That's $20 times the total number of conversions per month. Enter. And the costs from these impressions is equal to the costs per impression times the number of impressions per day, and then times into the number of days per month and enter. So we already can see that the profit is lower than the cost. So the ROI would be actually negative. That's miserable. But let's do the calculation. Equals parenthesis profit minus the costs close parenthesis and divided by costs. That's the formula for ROI. So the ROI is negative 0.6. That's negative 60%. So the calculation we're doing is actually the idea is like this. So we have costs. And the cost is multiplied into something. And this eventually leads to the ROI. If we know the cost, we can figure out the ROI. And similarly, if we know the ROI we want, we can figure out the cost. It's just not as straightforward as knowing cost to figure out ROI. And Excel provides a tool for us to do this. It's called GoSeq. And to do this, we go to data and what if analysis and then GoSeq. So in GoSeq, we want to set the cell to a certain value by changing a different cell. Here, we want to set the cell of the ROI we have calculated here to the value of 0.1. That's our target ROI. By changing the cell, cost per impression. So once you set it this way, Excel would attempt to set this cell of ROI to 0.1 by changing the cost around so that the cost per impression would lead to an ROI of 0.1. And click OK. And it's done. 
So as you see, this calculation is not perfectly accurate, but it's so accurate that this small difference doesn't really matter. If you keep even three digits, it will be 0.1. So that's close enough. And the cost per impression it looks like zero. It's because it's a tiny number. So if we expand the number of digits here, so we'll see that the cost per impression has to be 0.36 cent per impression in order to have a targeted ROI of 0.1. So the cost per impression has to be much lower than one cent per impression in order for this ads to be worth it. That concludes this video.